I am Prophet, Master Apostle, Marcus Rogers. Hey, listen, some of the people y'all call Prophet and Prophetess, this is what they look like to me. I'm really trying to be funny, y'all. This is serious. Jesus said the greatest prophet of all was John the Baptist. He never did a miracle. He wasn't reading nobody's license plate. He didn't even write a book in the Bible. He had a simple message, and it was to repent. All right. And so think about it. What we think is so deep when we see people, you know, telling people their future and stuff. Oh, they must be so deep with God. Hey, it's not the same in God's eyes. That's why you need to pray about everything. A true prophet is speaking what the heart of God is in that moment, in that situation. A lot of this other stuff is just a big clown show. People just talking to talk every feeling, every little emotion they have. Right. Oh, let me just say this. Some of you ain't prophets, you're intercessors. God is showing you stuff, but it's not for you to go blab your mouth about it. It's because he wants you to pray about it. But because everybody wants to seem deep, when God shows you something, you mishandle heavenly information because you want to be recognized as a prophet. So let me go run my mouth about what God is showing me. What you need to do is go hit the prayer closet. The bottom line is a lot of these people calling themselves prophets, it's a big clown show. Listen, here in America, we have idolized the supernatural. It's to the point where, you know, it's to our own demise. A lot of people, they think when they see somebody cast the devil out are moving in the prophetic, that is, that is a reflection of how deep they are with God. But the problem is a lot of people can operate in the supernatural illegally. Um, there's a lot of people who can operate in the supernatural and their character is flawed. I've seen people prophesy accurately who are sleeping around i've seen people cast out devils who are sleeping around doing all kinds of stuff uh you know drinking smoking cussing all of that kind of stuff so somebody operating in a gift is not a reflection of how deep they really are with god right your ability to die to self and die to your desires and die to your feelings and your emotions and your character is really a sign of how deep someone is with god because it shows how you know uh, far they're willing to go by crucifying their flesh. So there's a lot of people who operate in gifts who don't crucify their flesh. And, and because we think, oh, wow, like this person cast out a devil, they must be so deep. This person said something, you know, accurate, right? Hey, people could put a lot of stuff out there and then it'd be accurate. So to me, it's not impressive. I'm not like, and I'm not dishonoring it, but I'm not impressed because somebody you know, prophesy something that's accurate. I'm not impressed because somebody reads somebody's license plate. I'm not impressed uh, or, you know, tell somebody their license plate. I'm not impressed because uh, somebody cast out a devil. A lot of people are impressed and they have a desire, uh, you know, for the supernatural, number one, because we've idolized it. Number two, a lot of people are seeking out these titles because they're looking for validation. It's not even really about ministry. It's about your father wounds. Never having a father say, I'm proud of you, right? It's about your low self-esteem. It's about rejection. So you're looking for a title to validate you. A lot of people, because of pride, they want to seem like the deepest person in the room. The religious folks were like that. And Jesus came along and he showed them they weren't as deep as they thought they were. And so to me, a lot of the people that uh, Christians have put out there, like it's just so deep, a lot of them are babies to me. To be honest, just because they prophesy, just because they operate in the gift, a lot of them are babies and you see it in their character. Because I'm telling you, the flesh, the Bible talks about who can tame the tongue and all of that kind of stuff. The flesh, when someone, someone's uh, crucifying their flesh, their character, to me, that is a sign of how deep someone really is in their walk with God. Their ability to uh, restrain themselves, fight the flesh, all of that stuff. There's so many people operating in gifts and they have no control over their flesh whatsoever. Something to think about. I personally believe if you look at the Bible and you, you know, started reading it and actually look at what a prophet is and actually look at the church, you know, uh, how the church function in the book of Acts, a lot of the people that we put on a pedestal, you would knock off real quick.